14 years ago, when he saw United States military Harry Carpenter filing into innocent lives in Iraq, and the video father showed hundreds of innocent uh, civilians suggested to have been killed by United States forces in uh, Baghdad. It's human rights defenders, we were very, very, very much concerned. Uh, instead of pursuing and trying the killers of innocent people, an innocent man was arrested and for the last 14 years been in prison battering for justice for telling the world what the United States forces were doing. Barack Obama, the former United States president, said that the world would be a good place when what's discussed behind bars behind curtains and rooms is discussed in the living room. It always gives us reflection about talking about our neighbors, talking about our friends, and to being cautious. And those are the we clicks issues that we are putting this generous into mess. Being released uh, today, Julian Assange is an icon of a journalism that the United States pursues is freedom of speech that we remind authorities in Washington to hear and respect. I would like to thank uh, so much uh, Julian uh, for being uh, so much brave and bold that he never stood down in any way uh, possible. Uh, in the same way, I would also uh, like to appreciate so much Stella Asanji for being so uh, much patient with all this trauma that you've gone through every single night. Uh, Prime Minister Albanese, uh, Anthony, would like to say thank you. Uh, thank you so much for offering legal assistance uh, to a jury and, and the people of Australia thank you so much for demanding uh, for diplomatic efforts to have your citizen back home what does this uh, plea of guilty um, teachers it's setting a very very uh, bad precedence about the freedom of speech and for us as journalists and civil rights activists because Jaren is made to play guilty and as well serve a sentence of 14 years and all his only crime is journalism. I would like those in authority to rethink about their actions. Their actions in their human rights and very free speech should not be hidden in security, should not be hidden in matters of diplomacy. We must understand that our actions are very, very uh, appealing and should be a case to answer rather than taking on the mirror which reflects the society. We must turn with journalism and free speech around the world and tell those in command that time is now. My name is Chivumbi Ernest Benjamin.